All right, all right. Before we start tonight, I just want to mention one thing. This past year, we lost to one of the members of our club. His name is Kevin Stone. All of our entertainment is dedicated in the memory of Kevin Stone. This one's for you, buddy. All right. So one more announcement. We have a raffle right there. That's the last call. We close at 11.45 at the raffle stand. Win a trip to two to Madeira. Win over $900 in scratch tickets. Win uh, sports tickets to all the Boston sports teams. So make your way over there if you want to win that. I want to thank our feast president, Nelson DiGavea. He's right there. Right there, Nelson. All the, all the committee members, all the volunteers, all our significant others who put up with us during this time, which is very stressful. So I want to thank all of them. We cannot do these four days without you guys. All right? So, now here to close our last night at the feast. I know, we all wish it was longer. Last night at the feast, we're going country. Give it up for Trent. Top
Woke up face down in a cheap motel Had a King James Bible and bust a smell In a gym bean bottle and in the bed With a lipstick ghost and a beard Call me later if you want a party sign Susan
How y'all feeling? I'd like to thank all you guys for having my country bud all the way up here from Nashville, Tennessee. We'll play some country music for you guys in New England. We appreciate it. It's been three years since I've been, to, been up this way, and, I, and it really feels good. And this is an awesome event. Thank you, guys. We love you. Thank you for having us. Uh, hey, pretty baby, are you ready for me? It's a good rocking daddy down from Tennessee. Just now I'm about a Santa tone with a radio blessing and the bird dog gone. Yeah, speech that bubba has Sam a town. No old yoga gonna shut me down. This town the same way this rig unwound and we come a thousand miles from a guitar town. Here's a song for all you girls that think you can drink more than I can.
We haven't Come fun on. yet. For those guys that don't know me, my name is Trent Tomlinson. I've my first album come out in 2006, and I'm proud to say we were actually number one selling country music artist of that year. And um, since then, some changes have ma ma been made into country radio, and I'm just country, and I don't play some of that politicking. I've been a guy that always did what I wanted to do, and. Uh, that's just the way I like to do it. But I was fortunate enough to have a number one song about three or four weeks ago called Close Your Eyes for This. Y'all check it out right now. Take a look at what's left of that sunset. Fireflies popping like a fourth of July. Yeah. You're gonna wanna see Every single thing I'm gonna show you tonight I got the perfect scene set up No like glory Just keep the baby blues wide open Girl, take a look around Hey, is it going down? It's going down to the right Hey, baby, for the night it's in the older Leave your pretty self over here a little closer I need to hold you I want to show you What you don't So I was sitting in my, uh, for those guys who don't know, I'm a songwriter and uh, I've been fortunate enough to 
wrote songs for George Strait, um, Parmalee, Sarah Evans, um, the new song by Love and Theft that's on the radio right now. So God's been good to me in that regard, and, and songwriting's been my passion my whole life. And uh, so I'll play you this song that, one of the songs I, uh, that's, I think might be my best song I've written. Um, I was sitting in my house one day trying to write a song. My buddy calls me on the phone and says, what are you doing? I said, I'm trying to write a song. He said, what about? I said, I have no idea. He says, I have a bottle of Jim Beam whiskey. I said, well, come on over. He sets this bottle of whiskey in the middle of the table, and I get to looking at it, and I say, you know what, buddy? Here's our song. We'll write the first verse down to the top of the sticker. The first chorus to the middle of the label. The second verse to the bottom of the sticker. And by the time we have this bottle of whiskey drink, we should have a song done. And that's exactly what we did. It's called a bottle. Y'all check it out. Top on some Jim Beam, I just bought. I took a big old swig, and I just set her down. It's a foolish thing to think that you could kill the hurt with a drink, but it's the only thing that I can think of now. We got her down to the top of the sticker. Just tipped it up 
took the last sip from the cup I threw that bottle on the ground and I started to cry I know that I've had plenty but now there just ain't any and I'm just as empty as that bottle Inside. Thank I love country music with all my heart, but I love blues music with all my heart, too. Do y'all like the blues?
Medford. Uh, again, thank you guys for having us out so much. We appreciate it. We've been on tour all year, and we got about three or four months to go, and we're done for the year. But I'd be nothing without these guys behind me. They worked their tail off for me for every night of the week. Y'all make some noise for my band. <coughs> it's actually pretty interesting, uh, the dynamic we have. We're actually missing a piano player tonight. Uh, so we're missing one guy, but we hope we're doing a good enough job for you guys. Hope you're having a good time. But the interesting thing about the thing is, man, we ride down the road on a tour bus together. I know it's a tour bus, but still, you're still living out of a suitcase and putting on your cleanest, dirty shirt. This one stinks bad. Don't get near me. Please don't. Um, but before I go any further, I want to introduce the guys in the band. Uh, on the lead guitar from Indianapolis, Indiana, y'all make some noise for Mr. Brian Wilson. Back there on the drums, y'all make some noise for Mr. J.J. Flores. Y'all make some noise for J.J.'s brother on the piano who isn't here tonight, Mr. Andy Flores. <laughs> he had something to do, he had, it's, it's well worth it. Um, on the bass guitar from Cincinnati, Ohio, y'all make some noise for Mr. Dave Wilson. And I'm sure everybody, especially women, just want to know who this guy to my right is. There's so much. That's the only reason I got him. That needs probably the best guitar player I've ever heard live in my life. <laughs> Here's the interesting thing, though. JJ's brother's in the band with us. So picture this. We're on tour together. We have a guy that looks like he just walked out of an Alice Cooper concert. A pretty boy from L.A. on the bass. Two Mexicans. A Harley rider and a cowboy from Pino, New Mexico. Because we like to play music for you people, it doesn't matter after that. Y'all make some noise for Gold Braith on the lead guitar. <laughs>
real fire. I tell you what, them wolves can play. You have a good time. So I was uh, had this all night party at my house. Imagine that. And I was nursing this heartache from a girl who broke my heart. Thanks for the sympathy. But I had this bottle of Jim Beam whiskey. It was in my freezer. And I, for those of guys who know, if you take a bottle out of the freezer and put it on your coffee table, it's going to leave a ring around it, right? You understand? So about three o'clock in the morning after everybody left, I got that bottle of whiskey out and I was looking at her pictures. They were there on the coffee table and I set the bottle of whiskey on the top of it and I went to bed. I woke up the next morning and I walked down the stairs. There was a ray of sunshine, sunshine shining through the window, illuminating all the secondhand smoke from the night before. Shine on this bottle of Jim Beam whiskey, reflected light off of that bottle of whiskey onto this bottle of Coca-Cola reflected light off of that onto the wall of my living room that created this rainbow prism effect thingy. I said to myself, I said, Self, Self. if there ain't a country song in here, there ain't one nowhere. So I, so I wrote this about as hungover as one man can be. I wasn't drinking Madeira wine, but I was close to it. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're gonna be. I'd be drinking it right now, but I was told I would not make it through this show. So when we get done, we're all gonna have one together. Is that okay? The further I 
I said, Grandpa, watch this picture here. It's all black and white. It made real clear, is that you there? He said, yeah, I was 11. Well, times were tough back in 35. That was me and Uncle Joe just trying to survive a cotton farm. The Great Depression. And if it looks like we were scared to death Like a couple of kids just trying to save each other You should have seen it in color On this one here, I'm taking overseas in the middle of hell see my breath that was my tail gunner old Johnny McGee he was a high school teacher from New Orleans and he had my back right through the day we left and if it looks like we were scared to death like a couple of kids just trying to save each other we should have seen
Oh, it's a good time tonight. It's my kind of party. Thank you guys for having us. On this one here's my favorite one. This is me and Grandma in the summer sun. I all dressed up the day we said our vows. You can't tell it here, but it was hot that you. The rose is red and her eyes were blue. And just a look at that smile, I was so proud. That's the story of my life. Right here in black and white. And if it looks like we were scared to death by the club of the kids just trying to save each other, should have seen it in color. My picture. I said, Grandpa, what's this picture here? It's all black and white. It ain't real clear. Is that you there? He said, yeah, I was 11. Thank you so much. This is my second hit of a first album called She Just Might Have a Radio On. Y'all check it out one time. Hey, Mr. DJ, can I make a request? Well, somebody I love just up and left. If I know her, she'll drive all night long. Cause she just might have her radio on. Yeah, I pray she has her radio on. Just in case she ain't that far from town. I'll play something that'll turn her car around. And Might have her radio on. Yeah, I pray she has her radio on. So play something that'll get.
That guy's a good man. He's brought me a straight crown roll, so cheers to everybody. Thank you for having us out. What a great event. Thank you all for staying here and not going 40 miles down the street and seeing Rascal Flats play and sticking here to listen to me play tonight. I appreciate it. Y'all give me one big hell yes. Play something out of camp. I heard her thinking about me and let her know. Can I make a request? With somebody I love just up and left. Thank you so much. Um, my daddy was a guy who never lived his life righteously. But he was a good man. In the eyes of our town, he was a great man, but none of the people in our town knew the kind of guy he was after an all-night bout with alcohol when he come home. So for so many years, I was torn, like, I love this man, I hate this man. I really didn't know how to feel about it. And one day I got to thinking about heaven and hell and how could heaven be heaven to me if I couldn't see my daddy there? Amen? So I wrote this song as a plea to God to let him into heaven. And for those of all you don't know, my daddy passed away about two months ago from a fatal heart attack out of the blue, so it's been tough on me and my family and everybody, and it's, I'm gonna try to play this song for you for making this my first top 10 single ever called One Wing in the Fire, wrote by my daddy, so y'all bear with me if I cry. <laughs> Daddy's been a back row Baptist, to share front row sin With Saturday night still on his breath Every Sunday when he walk in He's never led the benediction He's never sang in the choir But he's an angel with no halo And one way Yeah. 
must be with him. I know his faith is tired, but he's an angel with no halo and one wing. Touchdowns. Fixed my car and fixed my heart when they've been broken down. I know he calls for more forgiveness than most folks do require. But he's an angel with no halo and one way. Still with me. I know it's the last night of the feast. I appreciate it. It's Sunday. I know we got to work tomorrow. We're pros at this. Was it worth it? <laughs> <laughs> 